the missionaries tried to reach out to all the villages. The villages would receive the missionaries with great joy expressed through songs and dances. Once the missionaries reach the villages, it's a time for faith formation like teaching of catechism. Celebration of the sacrament of reconciliation and the Holy Eucharist. As most of the villages do not have proper church building, the Eucharist is often conducted in the temporary chapels. In their ministry of praying and healing, they cannot but be touched by the deep faith that these ordinary folks have got in the power of Jesus. The people still believe in miracles, superstitions and of course in the power of prayer. It is still a common sight on local feast and national feast that the people would appear dressed in their colorful traditional attire singing, dancing on feast days are still very sacred to them. Often, people would gather together for a common meal, which reinforces a tribal identity and community bond. People have been confronted with economical poverty and always threatened by dreaded diseases like malaria, typhoid, jaundice, which has taken the lives of many children of every family. <laughs> and missionaries are not spared either. But it is amazing to find how people are learning to cope with hard realities of life and to actually learn to celebrate it. <laughs> Some of the areas that the Holy Cross missionaries are trying to focus are education of children by the means of establishment of formal schools and hostels. Welcome you. So glad to welcome you. Healthcare by means of dispensary, hopefully with the collaboration of sisters' congregations. Social issues like the rights of women who until now remain as exclusive properties of the men folks, the fundamental rights of people to live in human condition, and obviously the work of continued evangelization, namely to reach out more and more to non-Christian families as well as to catechize already baptized members remain a This can be achieved by means of training lay leadership 
and an increase of personnel. Much has been done by the church for the growth of faith in Arunachal Pradesh, but even much more needs to be done. Every effort done either by the church or by men or women of goodwill or by the government contributes ultimately to the physical and spiritual development of the people. This is the beginning of the long road ahead for the congregation of Holy Cross in building faith communities in Arunachal Pradesh. It always sounds like a kind of very romantic and fascinating story to hear about people working in the frontline mission. But I can assure you, it is not a honeymoon experience in real living. Challenges come from inside and from outside. But what keeps us going is our commitment to the gospel mandate to go and make disciples of all nations. God's love to be experienced by all. For a touring there for the Bino and the Catechist place down there that is called Sagum. Cloudy area is Colorian. Man, 